guess I can make this my good morning, guys. It's about 2.30 in the morning. I was just getting ready to lay down and go to sleep because I've been on YouTube uh, talking to some of our new subscribers. And Bootsy decided she was going to come lay down with me and go to sleep. But she couldn't get comfortable because her ears were starting to bother her again and she kept shaking her head and scratching at her ears and usually I can rub them and it makes her feel a little bit better but I couldn't even rub them they were so sore and itchy and irritating to her so I had to get up and get her eardrops and unfortunately I had to wake Kevin up because I can't put the eardrops in by myself. One of us has to hold her wrapped in a towel while the other one puts the drops in. So, we just did that. She's not happy with me right now. She's hiding under the kitchen table. But I am now going to go into my bedroom, crawl into bed, and I am going to go to sleep. I am so very, very tired right now. So, I will catch you guys all a little later. Okay, it's quarter after four in the morning. And look who decided to climb into bed with us. We're not getting much sleep tonight with the cats. Good morning again, everybody. We had a very interesting evening having to give Bootsy some medicine early this morning and then Mojo decided to join us in bed last night and she wouldn't lay down. <laughs> she would walk around and meow and then she would decide to lay down for a little while and then she would get up and walk around and meow and make muffins on Kevin, on me and then she would lay down and do it again. So, but we didn't kick her out. We let her stay in as long as she wanted and uh, kept us up for quite a while, but then she decided to leave and I guess go explore more, go upstairs, I don't know. I didn't follow her because I went back to sleep. Um, I didn't go to sleep till really, really late to begin with and I'm extremely tired. Uh, woke up with a pretty bad migraine. Um, Kevin and I discussed it and I'm going to stop taking my new medications because since I started taking them I've had a headache every day and um, some days it turns into a migraine and this morning I woke up with a raging migraine. I'm still in a lot of pain. I'm going to eat some breakfast and I'm going to take my medications and um, I'm going to see how that goes. I'll probably relax a little bit, but I promised you guys I was going to make some dinner tonight. So I'm going to do that. Um, we'll see what happens. So hey guys, I know I said I was going to do this a little later and I was going to relax because of my migraine, but I want to get it thrown together now so I can just relax until Kevin gets home. I have dirty dishes in the sink and I have laundry to do, but with this migraine, I'm just not going to be able to get all that done and I want to do the important stuff. So, dinner is the important stuff because we need to eat healthy and I promised you guys I was going to make some dinner tonight. So, I am going to make some dead bird <laughs> with some carrots, zucchini, mushrooms, onions, and red skin potatoes. So. I will keep coming back and showing you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so first off, I started by putting my boneless, skinless chicken breast in my pan, and I put some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and some basil on them. And the next thing I'm going to do is cut up my red onion, my mushrooms, my zucchini, my carrots, my red skin potatoes, and some garlic. And I'm going to put all that over top of this. And I'm going to use some fresh garlic because it's 
Halloween time, and it's always good to use garlic to keep the vampires away. <laughs> but I'm going to do this and check it out because this is, I learned this on Meet the Presleys the other night. If you put your garlic in a container with a lid on it, and you shake it, it's supposed to peel it for you. So, I'm going to try this. I know you guys don't want to stand there and listen to me shake it, so I'll let you know how it works. Well, I got three pieces completely peeled so far, but I'm still shaking. I pulled those out, I pulled the, the peels out on those, and I'm still shaking to get the rest clean. It's working. This is pretty cool, guys. Thanks, Meet the Presleys. Anybody who likes fresh garlic and hates to peel it because it's sticky and it's hard to peel, this works. Good tip from the Presleys. So, it did work. Fabulous. I love it. Thanks, guys. Great idea. Now, I do want my garlic to, to be diced really 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 thin so I am going to use my ninja on this and see just exactly how finely diced I can get my garlic so I will be back because I have to go over there for this because there's no electricity on the island so I'll be back well that looks like there's a couple of big pieces but it looks pretty finely diced to me so I am going to scoop that out all over the top of my chicken dish over there, which I'll show you guys in a few minutes. So I ended up going with four potatoes, even though I pulled out five. I'm not going to put one back because I don't know if you can see this potato. It's not a healthy potato. It's got all these black, brown lines through it. And I'm very picky with stuff like that. So... This potato is going in the trash. Hello everyone. So I wanted to stop on and say a quick hi. And I wanted to say thank you to Meet the Presleys for our earrings. I have claimed these ones as my own because mom will hide everything. So these ones are mine officially. And I absolutely love these. I've actually been looking for really cute Halloween earrings for a long time um because i'm really into halloween and i like earrings a lot so i would wear i was looking for they all know we're into halloween get out of here <laughs> i was looking for really cute halloween earrings um and i've never actually been able to find ones that are cute and so these ones are really cute most of the halloween earrings are really kiddish and like they're like i don't know not my style but these ones are like perfect for me they have a little bit of of bling on them but not too much it's perfect so I'm very excited about these they will get worn a lot this season um, and then I also wanted to vent I was this morning I had work from 7:30 to 10 and then I have biology class from 11 to 12 and then from 12 to 1 I went and worked with my physics teacher on my new physics stuff and I get back to my car and this loveliness is sitting on my car. And I was like, are you kidding me? Really? And I looked at it. And at first I was just mildly irritated. So I park in the neighborhood, which technically I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to have a permit um, to allow me to park there. But I don't have one. So I see this and I'm like, oh crap. It's of course just a fine for parking there. And I was mildly irritated, but I expected it because... I know I'm parking there illegally, technically. But then I turn it over and I'm like, oh, how wonderful. Two tickets. The second one is because I have a picture of a manatee as my front license plate instead of my regular license plate. My back one's normal, but my front one has a picture. I've had that for two years now, and this is the first time I've ever had any problems. And of course, so they see, oh, a student who can't find parking parks in the neighborhood because they need to get to class. Let's give them two tickets instead of one. Let's pick at every little thing we can possibly find in order to get money. And that just really, really ruined my day and ticked me off. Okay guys, so as you can tell, 
Megan's having a rough day. I finished putting dinner together. <laughs> I finished putting dinner together, and of course my OCDness would not let me leave the mess in the kitchen, so I cleaned everything, washed what I had to wash, put everything else in the dishwasher. But let me show you guys dinner. So here is dinner. It's got chicken, carrots, mushrooms, onions, red skid potatoes, and zucchini. And normally I would pour Italian dressing over it, but I can't have salt. So I use uh, organic, uh, no sodium chicken broth, and I sprinkled basil and sweet paprika over it and that will be covered with aluminum foil and baked on 350 for about an hour because the chicken breasts are really really thick so let y'all know how it tastes so i thought i'd come upstairs and check on mojo and mama real quick and here's little miss mojo sitting in the chair hi baby girl you kept us up for a few hours last night. How you feeling? How you feeling, baby? Huh? Yeah, you know, you can come downstairs during the day, too. Yes, you can. And here's Mama still sitting in the closet. Hi, Mama. I don't know what's going to happen with her. She doesn't seem to want to really come out of here. So we'll just have to keep an eye on her. Hey, honey, welcome home. Hey, sweetie. So you come in and you can smell the garlic. Yep. I hope it's not too much garlic. It's okay. I keep the vampires away. That's what I said when I was cooking. <laughs> That's funny. Kevin's getting Freckles' dinner ready. He's giving him his medications right now, and then he's going to feed him. We we hide his medications because he spits it out. Yes. We got to figure out a way to do that with Bootsy. All right. So we need to check and see if all dinner's done. Good. So I didn't even know what you were cooking today. Telling me to hurry up. You can't rush perfection. Okay. <laughs> so I made chicken with mushrooms, onions, carrots, zucchini, garlic, potatoes. I put some organic no so no salt chicken broth uh i sprinkled it with parsley and some sweet paprika no arugula you want arugula <laughs> i'll know. make you some arugula i don't even know what arugula, arugula <laughs> is <laughs> i'm sure it's a, i think it's a vegetable okay you're chewing that's what you're doing you eat does it taste good mm -hmm. yummy yummy yep too much garlic? No. Can you taste the garlic? Yeah. Kay. What did you say about dinner? It was tasty. And? And I ate it. What did you say about the vegetables? They're good. Ah, Kevin does eat his veggies. As long as it's not broccoli and cauliflower. I eat that junk. Right? You wouldn't eat it either, would you? Your onions and garlic and, and spuds. That's good stuff. There were zucchinis and carrots in there. Eh. Filler. <laughs> Filler. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Guess what time it is? What time is it? It's time for a shout out. Hey, show some 
more excitement than that. First off, I want to say we got two really good ghost stories from two of our subscribers. We want to get some more because we want to do a vlog where we're just sitting around the fire pit with some low lighting. And we're going to just tell those ghost stories. And we want to fill that up with a whole vlog. So we need some more ghost stories. So come on, guys. I know some people out there have more ghost stories. Send them our way. If you have pictures to go with them, send them our way. Come on. Oh, and everybody, Jack Adams, our art supervisor, wants to say, Hello to everybody. Hello. Hello. Emily Stout. Welcome to the neighborhood. Ah. Lucy Bluebones started a new channel, and it's called Just the Girls Next Door. Don't know if she has any vlogs up there yet, but make sure you guys go check it out and subscribe when she does. And... Dale Roper says that I didn't yell loud enough. Oh, Planet Nine didn't hear me. So he says I need to yell louder. He wants to see Kevin go deaf. So, but I, you guys all know how much of animal people we are. And a friend of mine Oh, Kevin, don't do that. A friend of mine, actually, she works at my vet's office. She is helping um, rescue some horses. And they set up a fund um, to, to help them raise money for these horses and a page and you can read the whole story and everything i'm going to show you just a quick little thing here and um then i will also put the links to everything in our vlog today or tomorrow morning so if you guys can afford to to help donate anything that would be great if not share the link with your friends and families and uh see if they might be able to help donate at all because uh it would be great if we can help her save these guys. So, um, I'll bring it up closer to the camera. If we can help them out, we would really like to be able to do so. So, we'll put those links up on our vlog for tomorrow morning. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, Ready? No. Ready?